What's up guys? Sorry it's been a minute since I uploaded my last video. I take my videos on my phone and I upload them to my computer so I can edit them and then send them to YouTube. Um, I've been having issues with uploading or getting the videos from my phone to my PC. Um, for some reason, I don't know what the problem is, but I think I found a solution for it. Uh, it's called Li uh, Video Editor. It's an app on my phone that I can use that I'm gonna try to start using now until I find something better. Uh, I've been meaning to try to do this, but it's been a slow process. So it's actually been about two weeks or a week, a week actually. Yeah, about a week since um, the car show in Conway that we went to. So you'll see that in part two of this video. This video is going to be two parts because I didn't realize it was going to be so long. Um, so yeah, be sure to go to part two after this video. But basically some of the videos were corrupted whenever I was having the issues with my phone trying to get the videos from the phone to the computer. So you'll see a little bit of skipping around here and there. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy. Remember there are two parts. So be sure to like both of them. And if you haven't subscribed, do that. Enjoy. What's up guys? For those of y'all that watched the last video, Thank you for watching that, and if you are returning, welcome back. For the new people that are just now joining us, welcome to the, welcome to the channel. Uh, we have a car show to do tomorrow morning, so what we're going to do today is wash the car, and I'll go over what I do, basically, not go over, but I'll show you what I do, what products I use, and let's get to washing the car. All right, so what I do is I use my pressure washer. It's an electric pressure washer, a uh, small one that I got at Harbor Freight, 1,750 PSI. Um, I don't set it to the, of course, the hard stream setting. I set it about midway for just the spray down, just to get all the dirt off. Um, and then I, I go around the wheels a little bit, get all the dirt from out of the wheel wells whenever I'm doing that. And I uh, just basically try to get as much dirt, or the big chunks of dirt off as possible. And then we'll go with the soap.
guys now that we got the car all washed down and wiped down dried off for the most part it's it's pretty dry uh, the rest of it will dry and you know just sitting out it's time to do the engine bay we have purple power a different rag from what you used to dry the car off an old toothbrush brush that's been wiped out for like the little nooks and crannies and stuff all down in there and all up over here and everything um, what you do is you just take your purple power you just spray it all over everything try not to get it on your intake or the alternator down there and when you're done with that you'll let it sit for a minute kind of brush brush everything in that you can with a toothbrush then take a pressure washer stand back a little bit and just kind of spray it off on the lightest setting and make sure not like i said not to get this wet and the alternator don't get the alternator wet from right here just spraying it off you're fine don't like stick the pressure washer down in the engine we'll go over that here in just a minute whenever i spray it down like i said you just spray spray it everywhere don't get it on there or down there grab your rag oh, your brush it's kind of like get everywhere it's kind of off in the, in the corners and stuff it's hard to do this and video at the same time there's a fly down in there that fly is obviously dead it's a little too warm in here for them well this side's actually not that bad i cleaned it last week i think because i was working on spark plugs oh, sh uh yeah and then like all up in here i have to get that with the hose but he's kind of want to get in those little grooves and these here which aren't bad because i actually just cleaned this mm, a week or so ago because we had a car show then kind of get it everywhere and then you'll want to get a bag or something to cover that up with and or Wipe, wipe it down a little bit. You don't want to wipe it down yet. Don't wipe it down yet. Go ahead and use a bag or rag, towel, whatever. Just kind of cover that up. Move all your stuff out of the way. And spray this back down just a hair more. I stand back. It is on the fan setting. So you just kind of spray it. Spray it off. Don't get on the alternator. Spray it over here. You can use spray up in here. I like to spray that off a little bit every now and then because it will get dirty. And yes, it's fine if you spray that. It's just supposed to be washed. Just mix the wash. Spray up in there. And then just wipe it down. Perfect. So let's kind of go through here, dry everything off. I'll have to dry the side of the car off again because you should probably do this before you completely dry the car, but I actually had to let the engine cool off because I just got home from work a little bit ago. And with, the problem with stainless headers is that they stay hot a lot longer than normal headers. Uh, normal headers have a little heat shield on them, so it kind of helps keep the heat in the headers and not all over the engine except on this one with these headers they don't um, they don't have the heat shield so they get hot and stay hot it usually takes probably two hours or so to fully cool off but you notice there's no steam coming off the engine so it's cool enough it's been about two hours since I've been home so that works all right guys i'm gonna finish drying this up it's hard to dry and video at the same time and i'll be back in a second all right so once you get that somewhat dry it's going to drip a little bit from spraying the headliner or the the liner, liner down headliner that's what it is uh it'll be wet a little bit drip back there but that's all right it'll cool off here in a little bit once you get all that wiped down as much as you can basically just go and start the car let it sit for a little bit you will see a little bit of steam coming off the engine that is fine. So there's 
There's the mileage, so you can see it. 140,807. So as long as you don't spray that um, the intake or the alternator, you're good. So just don't spray any of those. <clears throat> uh, just wipe everything else off. Make sure it's dry as possible. All the major water splats, which you'll have up in here and like right in here, which down here is not really a big deal. Um, try not to spray anything inside your fuse box, obviously. Uh, your ECU is fine. It's going to spray all down in there start the car let the engine warm up it'll start uh, steaming off the rest of the water and then tomorrow when we get to the car show we'll wipe it down again with some of my detail spray just to get the rest of the water spots off and we're good to go also that purple power I'll have to show you on a different video next time I do it All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, that was just basically just a car wash, how I do my car wash, um, and how I wash the engine bay, get ready for my car shows. I use Meguiar's products. I've always used them. They've been really good. I haven't really tried anything else. I think I've had Turtle Wax once that, I have, that I've tried. Uh, it just did not do as well as Meguiar's. I use the Tire Shine. I'm looking at my stash over there. I use the Tire Shine, Meguiar's stuff. I use the Car Wax, Carnuba. I use Rainex car wash like you saw. Um, I just use all that and it's like I said it's done the best. I even use the Meguiar's clay bar whenever I decide to clay bar the car. <clears throat> um, I do have a ceramic shield from Exo Formula that I started putting on the car as well. It's kind of like a short term ceramic coating. Um, I started using that and I apply that once every two or three months so it just helps bead the water up a little bit better than the wax would you don't have to wax the car as much so i use that um remember there are two parts of this video uh tomorrow or on the next video on part two we will be going to the car show in conway so you'll kind of see a little bit of the drive there and some of the cars that came up uh there were a lot of nice cars and yeah uh be sure to like and subscribe to this video if you're new and go check out part two.